The Chamber launched in Sydney in 2015, and since then we have launched chapters in Melbourne and Perth, and we have launched the Norwegian-Australian Young Professionals Network. Ekenes is the maker of the world's famous stressless chair. DMBDL is a quality assurance and technical certification company. Q3 is basically a technology company for transportation systems. Polyglot Group is a, an HR consultancy. Part of my role as the consul is to support Norwegians and businesses in this part of the country. Hannes Bank is one of the biggest banks in Norway and we're the only Nordic bank that's present here in Australia. We have organised a number of boardroom breakfasts, we've sponsored and co-promoted the Scandinavian Film Festival, participated in Euromix and cruised with all the European Chambers of Commerce. We have hosted Norwegian themed Christmas parties and we have collaborated with the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade and the Norwegian Embassy in hosting a series of political and diplomatic events. So I'm Paul Larsson, I'm the ambassador of Norway to Australia, New Zealand and 10 Pacific countries and I'm very happy to be here at the Norwegian Australian Chamber of Commerce to support the work of the Chamber as well as the general course of Norwegian business in Australia. There are approximately 70 Norwegian companies with a presence in Australia, most of which are located in Perth and in Sydney. The Chamber also has several business and individual members outside of the Norwegian community, given we aspire to have strong ties with other bilateral chambers. The uh, European Australian Business Council is a um, private sector-led initiative. We work in close collaboration with the Australian and European governments. Our uh, main objective is to um, create uh, high-level dialogue between Australia and European countries. Amadis provides e-health solutions. I represent uh, Nordic companies in Australia long term. We work with companies to help them recruit the right people or they were not a recruitment firm. With imports from Norway totaling 882 million and exports to Norway standing at 293 million, I see the market as very lucrative and with opportunities for growth. In 2016, some of the most prominent export included specialized machinery, alcoholic beverages, electric power machinery, aircraft and aviation parts. Australian imports from Norway included fish, specialized machinery, as well as measuring and analyzing instruments. Such Norwegian technology, especially within the oil and gas and shipping sectors, has characterized Norwegian-Australian trade relations with global multinationals such as Statoil, Kongsberg and Yara. Due to the Chamber's credibility and visibility, Norwegian companies often look to us for support in uncovering business opportunities in Australia. From here, we introduce our members to local operators or operators who are based in the Asia-Pacific region. There are also a number of Norwegian companies leading the way in infrastructure, health and startup technology. These include Macemap, Wavetrain, Imatis and q -free. And also household retail products such as Econes, Fuelbox and Jalsberg cheese. The Norwegian Chamber has been great to connect us with other Norwegian companies and with, with students and potential um, employees that could help grow our business here in Australia. The level of people in the Chamber uh, connected to so many industries and decision makers is again a really useful place to, to understand who is who and uh, who is the one that, that gives you the contact that you need. The thing that positions us in the market well in Australia is our Norwegian heritage. It is a differentiator from our competitors and I think that the, the work that uh, the Norwegian Chamber does um, only gives us a better platform to actually accentuate the, the good stuff that comes from Norway. We want to create a bridge between the students and the more senior Norwegian Australian Chamber of Commerce. It's very good for young professionals to be involved in the Norwegian business community because it's a good platform for us to meet um, different companies. For me personally, the Chamber was the, the main uh, reason why I got the job I have today. Which makes this really exciting because I've sort of done the entire journey from being a student, being a part of the Norwegian Chamber of Commerce and now working for a company. I certainly wanted to connect with the Norwegian community good social networking, meeting some very nice Norwegians and people with interests in Norway and maybe passion for Norway. For us this is a perfect way of actually reaching our target audience. I joined the Chamber right when it uh, first began and uh, since that time it's been a great opportunity to meet members of the Norwegian community but also uh, members of the Chamber to exchange ideas. Um, certainly there have been uh, business opportunities. Being a member of the Chamber obviously does give you access to a lot of people and potential business contacts. 
It's not only because it is uh, the connection with Norway, but it is coming together and if two countries are involved, I really like that environment of thinking business and seeing how we can trade and learn from each other. Well, the Chamber's been very uh, good for business. We've made a couple of great connections with new clients who have visited Norway and come back and asked for help here. Uh, for us, it's a great way of meeting uh, corporates in, uh, in a natural setting and, in, and to talk business and to get a good connection back home to Norway whilst operating here on the other side of the world. Uh, we find the business aspect of it very helpful as well as all of the social activities. When it comes to retailing in Australia, products with Nordic origin are recognised as quality products. 